Hi everybody, it's the uh, return of Saturdays are for the boy. My uh, like point zero 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 one percent of the college football universe slice just for me. Um, it's where I get to share, uh, I guess, a little bit of my thoughts. Um, you also get to hear my dog Basil whine and growl and bark in the background most of the time. So, you know, really high quality stuff here. Um, I just like talking about these things, getting it out there. It's a little itch that I have to scratch every once in a while um, that has to do with college football. Um, a huge passion of mine. So um, if somehow you've come across to me, you've noticed that I've been going through um, position group by position group, my uh, preferred top five for each position group going into 2019. Um, we've done the offensive side of the ball, now it's time for the defensive side of the ball. And we're going to start with the top five defensive lines that I have for 2019. Again, just my opinion as um, not an expert, but as an avid fan. Um, so here we go. We'll start with number five. I've got uh, the Alabama Crimson Tide, which is probably like the lowest they've been ranked in <laughs> Nick Saban's tenure there. I don't know. Um, only is the number five defensive line in the country. Um, they have a superstar still in Raekwon Davis, um, who surprised a lot of people by staying. Um, they've also got LeBron Ray and a couple other guys who have at least been in the rotation. And it's Alabama, which means that these guys are going to end up being great no matter what. We're going to know at least one other name. No, you know, we didn't really know Quinn and Williams before last year. Um, this year, we at least know Raekwon Davis. He's a monster. Um, so we will see who comes along on uh, along a side of him. Um, for the record, I think personally, outside of quarterback, defensive line is the most important position group um, on the field for a team. If you look at the previous national champions and the types of defensive lines they had: Clemson, Alabama, Ohio State, Florida State. You know, just monster defensive lines. Um, I think. Uh, that it really it really is a difference maker position group so um, these five teams I think are um, in really good shape to have good years uh, it's a shocker that I have Alabama at number five then you know top five defensive line Alabama anyways uh, Raekwon Davis and, and company at number five at number four I've got the Ohio State Buckeyes uh, they might have the best defensive end in the country in Chase Young he came on as a replacement for Nick Bosa and wrecked havoc. I mean, Ohio State just seems to be churning out these guys. They've got Robert Landers on the inside. They've got Jonathan Cooper opposite Chase Young, who does just enough to maybe keep double teams from happening on him. Um, you know, they've never lacked for that edge rush um, since Urban Meyer's been there. That's going to continue even with Ryan Day there, there at least this year. We got a couple blue chippers in the uh, in the pipeline. There you go. There's there's Basil. You know the unofficial mascot, Basil. Um. So yeah, Ohio State at number four. At number three, I've got Michigan State, the Spartans. Yes, at number three. And this isn't just blue chipper upon blue chipper upon blue chipper, although. These guys were pretty highly regarded recruits going in. But Kenny Willekes, he really wasn't highly regarded. But the Panasiuk brothers, uh, Mike and Jacob Panasiuk, um, they speak in Polish on the line to each other, which can only help their cause because they can, uh, they can give instructions to the offensive line's not going to understand. And then you've got another Raekwon, Raekwon Williams. Um, these guys aren't going to wow you all the time with their physical attributes, although Kenny Willekes is a monster. But one through four, just across that line in a 4-3 front, there is no weak spot on this team. Um, all these guys are NFL prospects, in my opinion. They will probably be playing on Sundays. There are very, very few teams that can say that about an entire defensive line. Um, Michigan State might seem like an outlier in this, in this era of – recruiting mega giants, but uh, I think this defensive line, they're still doing that, you know, three-star build and build and build. And this defensive line is right now a bunch of juniors and seniors. This is their peak time. When they're at their peak, 
we can, you know, we've seen it. They can make the college football playoff. We're not predicting them for the college football playoff, but I think they've got a top three defensive line in the country, which is going to make it hard as hell for teams to run on them and, and get um, a lot of time back in the pocket, which will keep Michigan State at the very least in a ton of games this year. Um, at number two, I've got the LSU Tigers, um, another team that's, you know, everybody's shocked to see up so high. But um, Fajoko, Michael Divinity, Rashard Lawrence, these guys, again, are just freaks. You know, they build them as freaks down, down in the bayou, and these guys are no exception. You know, Divinity will follow in a long line of guys like Arden Key um, most recently as just monster defensive ends on the lighter side, but just long, lean, fast, scary, can get to the quarterback like nothing else. Um, and Shard Lawrence is just just a mauler down there. So uh, LSU, you know, again, no surprise at all to see them um, with a monster defensive line. You know, they breed them down there. Ed Orgeron's going to have them rare and ready to go. And then my top defensive line in the country, we're going to stay in the SEC West, the Auburn Tigers. Uh, there are two to three first round picks on this on this defensive line. There are guys that have, could have come out this year, a la Clemson last year, and probably been a first round pick if they really wanted. Derek Brown, probably a first round pick. Marlon Davidson, potentially a first round pick. Um, these guys decided to come back. It's not that they weren't eligible to go to the draft. They decided to come back, uh, perform their own Clemson from this year. Uh, unfortunately for them, I'm not sure the rest of the team around them is is. Uh, Clemson level good um, but this defensive line when those three teams from the SEC, from from the west there Alabama LSU um, Auburn when that triangle plays each other um, you're gonna see the best defensive line play in the country alongside that Michigan State Ohio State game um, it's no surprise that the two most powerful divisions in college football right now the SEC West and the Big Ten East are the only two divisions represented in my top five Again, I think it's the most important position group, um, definitely on defense and outside of quarterback, the most imp important position group to have a dominant unit for. If I could pick a unit to be dominant, it would be defensive line. They can just wreck everything an offense wants to do, whether it's running, whether it's pass rushing, whatever it might be, you know, they disrupt everything. And for my money, front sevens, Dominant front sevens are the most fun thing to watch in college football. I love watching dominant front sevens play, getting after teams, getting after the quarterback, getting after running backs, those big stops. It's so much fun. It gets my adrenaline pumping more than anything, which means I'm, I'm going to love watching these teams play this year, as well as the linebacker teams that, uh, that I'm going to mention in my next entry. Uh, that stuff really gets me hyped more, more than – you know, big downfield shots, more than um, athletic picks. I just love a big sack on third and four, third and six. It, that's that's my favorite type of play. So I'm really excited to watch these guys play. These guys get after it. Um, you'll see next week in my linebackers uh, top five, um, my team is going to be featured for the first time on these countdowns. Um, You'll find out who they are then, but <laughs> when you find out, it's not going to be surprise a surprise to you that you know defensive lines and, and linebackers and front sevens are my favorite um, units to watch on the field. So thank you all for for finding me, for tuning in for these eight nine minutes, listening to me ramble on about uh, defensive lines and uh, whatever else might come to my head um, during my during my short little time doing this. So. Um, leave a comment if you end up finding me and want to say something about the content. Um, if you end up criticizing the, the audio quality or the video quality or, or the production value, uh, that's really not going to get any better because uh, this is just me having some fun. But if you want to you know, go back and forth on my top five, did I miss a team? Was it, did I rate a team way too high? Am I way too high on Michigan State's defensive line? Um, do I think, you know, do you think that the fact that Alabama only really has Raekwon Davis coming back as a proven guy, does that mean they should be off the list? Does it matter? Should they be higher because of their track record? You know, let me know. Anyways, uh, thank you all for uh, watching, listening, 
And uh, this is Saturdays are for the boy. I will see you next time.